Hi there, I'm Ilkay Bora and welcome to my tutorial series Lightning Sibelius. Today I'm going to show you a fantastic new arrival at QNotes plugin. Adding QNotes to orchestral parts is very important and can be a lifesaver during rehearsals. I strive to include as many clear Q notes as possible in my orchestral parts. When considering the perspective of the players, it's easy to understand how annoying and stressful it can be to count all those empty rests while trying to concentrate on playing your parts as well as possible. Q notes make things much easier and less stressful on stage as they provide valuable guidance for musicians. By indicating the entrances for each instrument or section, Q notes help musicians keep track of their rests and ensure they play in at the right time. This eliminates the need to count empty measures and reduces the chances of missing an entrance. Additionally, Q notes help musicians anticipate dynamic changes, tempo variations, or significant musical events occurring in other sections of the orchestra. By highlighting these moments, Q notes allow musicians to prepare mentally and adjust their playing accordingly, resulting in a more synchronized and polished performance. Alright, adding Q notes in Sibelius can be a manual and time consuming process, especially for large orchestral scores, which can become tiring. However, I recently came up with a solution that has made the task much easier. I had the idea to utilize the Select Stays plugin for this purpose and reached out to Bob Zawalik, the plugin's author, with a proposal to enhance it. Thankfully, he embraced the idea and updated the plugin with an incredibly useful add-on. This add-on revolutionized the process of adding Q notes. But then another idea struck me. I decided to take it a step further and wrote two macros to expedite the entry of Q notes even more quickly. I sent these macros to Bob for a review and he suggested that it might be better to create an entirely new plugin dedicated to this purpose. And thus the Add QNotes plugin was born. With the combined efforts of Bob Zawalich and myself, the process of adding QNotes in Sibelius has transformed into an enjoyable experience. Written by Bob Zawalich and co-written by Ilkay Boröder. Alright, before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click on the top sub button below. If you like my tutorials and if you want to support my channel, you can also donate it via PayPal button in the description. Okay, let's download the plugin. Go to File, Plugins, Install Plugins, and from Show tab, All Plugins and write Add Q Notes. Once you have found it on the list, click on the Install button. Now, once we are here, I suggest you to download an auxiliary plugin, which is called Deselect Hidden Staves. And I will explain you in a bit why we are downloading this one, because it's very important. After you found it on the list, click on the install button, then you can close the window. After you have downloaded it, I highly suggest you to assign a shortcut to it for a lightning usage. To do so, go to File, Preferences, keyboard shortcuts and find add QNotes plugin. Yeah, I'm just using this shortcut, but you can also use V shortcut. Um, it's, it's an empty slot. So however you want, just assign something which is easier for you. So it will be in lightning speed. After you have assigned it, click on the OK button. To use the plugin, start by selecting the destination stage and running it. The user interface is incredibly straightforward. Simply choose the instrument from the provided list and the plugin will automatically copy the musical phrase from that instrument and paste it as Q notes onto the destination staves. Let's take Xlophone as an example. Watch how quickly everything happens. Boom! As you can see, the process is incredibly fast and efficient. This plugin is also capable of handling multiple selections. To use it, make your desired selection and ensure that Skip Hidden Staves option is selected. Here is where the recently downloaded Deselect Hidden Staves plugin comes into play. It automatically deselects any hidden staves within your selection, which is especially helpful for large orchestral scores that follow French layout style. Make sure to check this option and click OK as you can see, the plugin effortlessly pastes the musical phrase while intelligently navigating hidden staves. One great feature of the plugin is its ability to remember the last chosen instrument. This comes in handy when you have a soloist in your orchestral project and need to copy Q notes from their part. Simply select a long multi-rest in one of the dynamic parts, 
press W to return to the full score, make your selection and run the add Q notes plugin. With the last chosen instrument automatically applied, you can quickly hit enter without any additional setup. This time saving feature streamlines the process, especially when working with a specific instrument or soloist. You can also find this plugin included in my engraver set. I have provided a link in the description for the chapter dedicated to my engraver set. Feel free to explore that chapter for additional resources and tools related to engraving in Sibelius. Thank you for watching the video. If you like my tutorial series, please subscribe to my channel and click on the thumbs up button below. If you want to support my channel, you can donate it via PayPal link in the description. See you soon in another mind-blowing Lightning Sibelius chapter.